You're listening to Great I Am by Fred Lee, the man who wants to put real soul uh, back into music, into soul music. And he's with me in the studio right now. Good evening to you, Freddie. Hello, Joe, man. It's a pleasure to be here. It's great to have you, man. Is that an American accent I hear? Yes, it is. An American <laughs> accent, man. Yours truly. Listen, welcome to BBC WM. We heard uh, sample there of, of your music. How would you describe it? I would, it's a fusion between inspiration and soul. So uh, the guys I was working with over at 5 Young Productions, we decided to call it um, Inspirational Soul. Inspirational Soul? Yeah. How did you get started in the business? Well, for me, it started a long time ago, back in a little country town, a little rural area in a small place in Florida. And the name of this place is called Pahokee, Florida. Called what? Pahokee, Florida. I've never heard of Pahokee. It's a, it's a uh, Indian name, and that name stands for, it translate to grassy waters. Uh huh. And uh -huh. it sits on the historical Lake Okeechobee. Right. So is it near the swamps? And the yeah, area? actually. It's uh -huh. near the Everglades. It's in the Everglades. The Everglades. In the Everglades, right, okay. actually. Mm. And um, I grew up there, um, then I started singing in church in the choir. Isn't that where they all start? Yeah, pretty much all of us done <laughs> in the church. And um, and then working in high school in the chorus, marching band and all of that. And um, and I actually singing for me was a form of escapism because where I grew up, the area where I grew up is a rural area, very small and not very much there. And it's a lot of underprivileged children there. And I so happen to fall in that particular category. I've been an a, a underprivileged child and having grown up, my mom raped me alongside with my grandmother. My mm -hmm. father, you know, wasn't around. And uh, and at what point did you come to it, to the UK? I come to the UK, it was in 1999 when I decided to come to the UK. And uh, was that to further your music career? Or? Um, yeah, to, to get into, because I wanted to blaze my own trail, uh -huh. you know, because I was singing in, in university at the university uh, called Florida Memorial University, where I sang with a uh, choir better known as the Ambassador Corral. We basically went all over the Caribbean, uh -huh. all over America, singing, and I decided after I graduated from university, well, let me, you know, go after my, my dreams, and I said, I, I don't want to do it in the U.S., I want to come to, to the U.K. to do this. Of course, you're aware that, you know, a lot of folks in the U.K. are going the other way. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think the U.S. is the land of opportunity. It, it can be a, a land of opportunity coming from their angle, because it's the same way me coming from, from America over here. Because I look at the, the market in terms of what I want to go into, it's pretty much saturated. Uh -huh. And to be in the UK, being an American, I would be more like a novelty. Uh -huh. It'll be the same thing as someone come from here to go to America. They probably would stand a better chance than I would. We certainly love the different. American twang over here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> which which seemed to percolate into the into the singing sound as well. Yeah, it's it? kind of melodic. Isn't yeah, it? we kind of sing when we talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been ten years. Ten years. Ten and years. how has it been so far? It, it had it had its ups and its downs because I I came over here because I was residing at the time in, in Spain and I was singing with a group of guys and we had this uh, a tribute to Motown and which I still do on occasions I do uh, the, the tribute show thing which is the bread and butter mm -hmm. and um, some of the guys got a little big headed you know how some people are they they get, artists never get big headed. <laughs> We come to fame, then come the attitude problems, and egos tended to get in the way, and and it kind of we broke up, the band uh, dispersed, and we all went our separate ways. So how long was that band going for? We had been together roughly, to be honest, about seven eight years right. prior to coming here, because we were doing a lot of uh, the, the Grand Canary Islands, we were doing Barcelona, Madrid, uh -huh. we were in Holland, Germany, we were all over, and of course we were doing stuff in America. Yeah, it, it's also true, isn't it, that when you relocate somewhere, there are all kinds of issues around settling down oh, yeah, and all that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's, and that, and that plays a, a very, very big part of it. And I think after coming to the UK in 1999, being one of the first uh, groups to come over here to actually put together like a tribute show to Motown, 
it was something fairly new and the people really gravitated to it because we didn't understand uh, didn't know that they had a, such a great appreciation for the n nostalgic type of music mm. here which uh, you wouldn't get in America right. you know you, you mean you wouldn't get that sort of appreciation not not like here right you you would get it you have to go to Vegas and places like that but for the people to really appreciate it on a on a, a large amount of people like they do here you know and I thank God for it because it afforded me the opportunity to be able to earn a living you're sort of, you're sort of charting a new course I mean is it you that coined the phrase inspirational <laughs> soul oh yes <laughs> yes I, I mean it, it's it, a Freddie Lee brand well we're trying to brand it <laughs> trying to make sure you know it's a different sound and we're trying to reach a, uh, a total different type of market so to speak Let's play a little bit more of it, and then we'll have another chat after this. Uh, just introduce this track for me. It's number seven on, on the album. Uh-huh. And that number seven is Oh, How I Love You. Ah, uh, here it is. It's five minutes past nine on Saturday night, and you're listening to the perfect Saturday night conversation with Joe Aldred here at <coughs> BBC WM at 95.6 FM. And you're listening there to the great music of Freddie Lee. That's inspirational soul from the man himself who's right here in the studio with me Freddie uh, when when you hear music like that after you spent hours in the studio producing it how does it make you feel man it bring me to tears I mean cry literally just cry Sorry, I, I didn't even put your mic on start again <laughs> you say well uh, uh, how does it make you feel actually I, I cry man because it's, it's I'm so passionate about it and to actually hear such a creation it just brings me to tears it really does yeah I can imagine now who are the artists who have uh, sort of influenced uh, you to where uh, you've got to know well you have uh, the man himself Mr. Sam Cooke mm -hmm. uh, Barry White um, Did you ever hear that song that, that, that Sam Cooke sang? It was a gospel one. There was a woman at the well. That yeah. one. I could yeah. never. Uh, I a day yeah. She was so sick. So, so, so many, long, so many long. So, something. So very long. So very long. Mm -hmm. Then one day. I mean, it is. How do you sing like that? I mean, <laughs> Man, I mean, I, I mean, Sam Cooke was, he's, he's awesome. That's genius. In, in his rights. I mean, he was an awesome guy. He and the soul stirs. We used to try and sort of, you know, imitate them when I was a young, try, young uh -huh. man trying to sing. We'd never do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I sidetrack. Who else have influenced you? And, uh, of course, my, my, my stepfather, who was a, uh, singing, I used to listen to him a lot uh, when they were practicing things like that. And... Um, a lot of times people say I saw it kind of sound like him a bit yeah. in his younger days. But um, then you got Jeffrey Osborne, James Ingrams, and all of these guys. I've really uh, listened to a lot of those those particular type of voices. So, you've been in our great United Kingdom for 10 years. Oh, yeah. Uh, wh wh where do you see the future leading? I mean, wh where are you going to be in 10 years' time, do you think? In 10 years' time, I, I hope to be still singing and, and, and producing other singers by then. You know, I would have put out maybe three to four albums and I really want to retire from being on the road so much and to focus on yeah, working in the studio mm. and producing other artists. Now, um, if we're going to play another track of yours, um, mm -hmm. number three from the from the album, oh, uh, yeah. The Great I Am, is that the right one? That's the one, The, the Great, Great I Am. Yes, um, right. Now, those, I mean, I'm sure there's loads of people listening to this, uh, mm -hmm. whether live or who will listen to it uh, as a listen again on the BBC iPlayer. If they want to get hold of the album, uh -huh. is there an easy way? Do you, is there a website from which you can order it? Yes, you could go to uh, www.cdbaby.com. Um, CD Baby spelled in the usual way. Yeah, in the usual way. Uh -huh. And uh, CDBaby.com, Freddie Lee's uh, music, then the album Beyond Comprehension. Or you can go to iTunes for those who would like to download it. And it's the same. Uh, and are you likely to be live anywhere? Uh, am I to be live? If they're going to see me live, they'll probably see me at this time doing a tribute to Motown, uh, the show called Sound of the Four Tops. Where is that going to be? Um, it will be at, in Yorkshire, actually, at okay. the Yorkshire uh, race course. And they're having a big show down there. And I think it may be like a some type of uh, farm raising project down there. Just give us that website address again. Web and address. the web address for mm -hmm. the album for is www.cdbaby.com. The album name is 
uh, Freddie Lee's Beyond Comprehension. And it's inspirational soul. Inspirational soul. Here is some more with my thanks. And from all of our listeners who I'm sure have enjoyed listening to you talk as well <laughs> as hearing your music. We're Thank going you, to Joe. Close out this interview with The Great I Am, more inspirational soul from Freddie Lee. Fabulous. Thank you, Joe, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate that, man. Hey, let's stay in touch, yeah? Yeah, definitely. If you,